Hi friends, David here from Above AVL and Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we want to answer one of those common questions that comes up, especially from customers over at AboveAVL.com who buy moving heads, moving lights, and then they go, hey, I know I can change the gobos if I want to. If I ordered some different ones, I can change them. How do I do it? Let's dive in. <laughs> So across pretty much any light that we sell that has rotating gobos, this is just a Gamma TX5, actually it's a slightly older version, but with our Volux Spectra is one of our favorite, lots of fixtures from ADJ, Martin, Chavez, all of the brands we have. If it has rotating gobos, you generally can replace them. That's kind of built into how rotating gobo assemblies go together. And it's one of those things that if you've never done it before and you've never seen somebody done it, do it, it can seem really daunting, but it doesn't have to be. So this is like the universal generic, any fixture, here's how it goes. On this Gamma TX5, we have little doors that allow us to access the gobos. Some kind of DJ grade or less expensive fixtures, I don't wanna call this DJ grade, have those doors and they can be helpful. Honestly, they're not my favorite because you still are cramming your finger in this really tiny space. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna use the full head. Now, with any moving light, the gobos are gonna be on one side or they're gonna be on the other, and you kinda of have to guess the first time you do it until you know. So you wanna take the cover off. Taking the cover off moving lights is gonna happen one or two ways. Some fixtures like these TX5, they're a little more in the budget category. They have threaded screws, okay? So you might, instead of using a handheld screwdriver, might want to grab the electric model, remove those. It is worth noting as well too, on units like the Volt Spectra or other more pro-grade units, they will have a half turn or a quarter turn fastener where you just insert the screwdriver, turn a little, you'll feel a pop, and then it's released, okay? The quarter turns and half turns also tend to be captive, meaning that the screws won't fall out. Again, on less expensive fixtures, just don't lose the screws. Obviously, it's not as easy to do it in the air on that type of fixture if a fixture's hung, but it totally works on the ground. So you're gonna go ahead and take off the cover. Most of the time, there's a front piece with the lens that's separate. So I'm just gonna gently remove. Okay, so what are we looking at here? In this particular fixture, what we can see right now is I can see, just to show you, I can see right here, right here, my fixed gobo wheel, okay? This has my non-rotating gobos on it. You can turn it, you see all the different gobos. And I do not see my rotating wheel, which means it's on the other side. So um, we're gonna flip the fixture, get to the other side. It's also worth noting if you're doing this kind of thing, if your fixture has tilt locks, um, you can lock it, pan and or tilt in a position like this. That usually makes this process really easy because the light doesn't try to move. Again, that's something that is on more pro level fixtures, um, like our Spectra 300, like many other fixtures from the big brands. But the TX5 is one of those that hits like just a really killer price point. Not quite as pro grade, but the internals are solid. Okay, so now I'm on this side. And what I'm gonna show you here is, first of all, you can see, let's see what camera we can see it from. From over here, we can see the rotating gobo wheel, okay? It's right here, it spins, and it has all these little gears in it that have your gobos in it, okay? It's gonna be a little easier to see from the top. Okay, so right here, we can see all these gears with these gobos, okay? So again, if you had the, the flap, okay, on the cover, you can remove the flap and, and you'll be able to get to these gears. In my opinion, it's way easier just to take the whole cover off. So what you're gonna do is you find the gobo that you wanna replace. Now, when replacing gobos, couple really important things. Sometimes people are replacing multiples at once. Get in the habit of only removing one gobo carrier at the time and putting it back in, if at all possible. Why? because in many fixtures, one of the gobo carriers will have a magnet on it for the sensor in the light to determine the gobo wheel position. If you put that carrier in the wrong slot, then you're gonna get an error and your gobo wheel's not gonna home right every single time. Back over here, flashlight. It's real simple, especially if you don't have a flashlight in the other hand. You simply find the carrier you want, 
lift away from the big wheel. Okay, so see I'm lifting away, I'm trying to make this look as good as possible so you can really see it here on camera. Lifting away. And then when you do that, you'll be able to pull the gobo out. Perfect, and if you're not holding a flashlight, then it's usually a lot easier. So now we've got the gobo out. And so the next thing to do is, or the gobo carrier, is to get the actual gobo out. So this is where I usually get, there's usually a spring in there. I think you could see it um, pretty decently. And the spring is kept in, it's got a little piece on the end. So I usually use a small flathead screwdriver and we remove that spring. And then we're gonna use it in there. I know this isn't gonna show up on the close up well, maybe it will, so I'll, I'll do it up here. So flathead underneath. Oh, I might have to get my mini one. Should be able to. Ha! Get the spring out. Of course, mine went flying. I'll find that later. Okay, so now we're down to the gobo itself without the spring. Okay, so gobo without the spring is in there. There are going to be two sides to glass gobos. Okay, steel ones, it's not going to matter. There's a silver side. Okay, the silver side. Uh, generally, it depends on who made it, but there's there's silver in where the pattern is and there's dark on the outside. So the dark side generally goes towards the light source as this one was. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you put them backwards, they will shatter. You can pull that gobo out. Boom. Okay, this one had a little carrier that I totally missed. So you pull that gobo out and then we've got the gobo out of the fixture completely. Okay. Remembering which way's up and which way's down, there's usually a slight difference to it that you can see at different angles. And so you pull that gobo out of the carrier, any additional parts that exist, sometimes there's uh, little washers and stuff, keep all that together, pull the gobo out, then you can replace it with your new gobo. Then everything goes back together the same exact opposite way, right? Put the gobo in, put the spring in, make sure it's good, make sure everything spins and it's great, okay? Throw things everywhere, no, not really. When you get the gobo back in, place the carrier back in the same slot, which again, you just lift it up a little bit from the wheel. Make sure it matches the direction that all the rest are going. It will hit the center of the gobo wheel, and then you'll be able to push it in, and it'll be able to sit down in that gobo wheel. Perfect. The gobo itself will then be able to rotate by hand with the fixture off. The whole wheel will be able to rotate everything rotates freely, then you can go ahead, put covers back on, plug the light in, test it, make sure everything looks right, and you're good to go. So now you've replaced your first gobo in a moving light. Congratulations. And uh, whether you have moving lights or you need some, whether you need more stage lights, audio equipment, video equipment, AboveAVL.com is your place. Not only would we love to help you find out exactly the perfect fit for your need, we'd love to help you get it. Let us be your dealer of choice and let us win your business for decades to come by being the most helpful place to buy your life in AV gear. Head over to AboveAVL.com. Feel free to add some stuff to your cart, request a quote, or just fill out our contact form. We're easy to get a hold of. And we love to help people. If you're brand new to stage lighting, head over to LearnStageLighting.com. Get a free guide all about starting with lighting in your particular context. Again, we love to help. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.